in this question, we're told to find um, a different form of each of these expressions down here that doesn't include exponents or product of trig functions. And what that means is none of this uh, cosine squared business and no trying to sneak around it by writing cosine of 4 phi times cosine of 4 phi. The computer's going to know what you're doing if you try that one. What we're really getting at here is I want you to write this using the power reducing identities. So let's try the first one. Um, here, I'm going to try to be consistent. I'm using the cosine identity right here to rewrite cosine squared of 4 phi. All right. And if you look at your angle here uh, in the identity, it's a. But in the problem we're working on, the angle is 4 phi. So that's fine. Just change a to 4 phi anywhere you see it. And what's this going to look like? Let me work some, some uh, algebra over here on the right. This is going to be 1 plus cosine of 2 times 4 phi. That's our angle, 4 phi, all divided by 2. And what's that going to be? Well, that'll be, um, I guess we could separate this into two different fractions if you want, but you don't have to. It's going to be 1 half times, I'm sorry, 1 half plus um, 1 half cosine of 8 phi. And that's it. That's all this is looking for. You don't have to even do separate fractions. You could just do one big fraction, right? You could say 1 plus cosine of 8 phi all divided by 2. You're going to follow the same procedure for each of these other ones. I think um, tangent squared should be pretty clear what we're going to do here. Uh, let me clear my workspace uh, for a second, and let's try tangent. So I'll keep that in green along with this identity right here that we're using. And I'm going to say tangent of 6 phi. Well, what's that going to be equal to? That's going to be, um, remember, 6 phi is my angle A. So that means this is going to be 1 minus cosine of 2 times what's a? That's 6 phi divided by 1 plus cosine of 2 times 6 phi. Okay, so if we're writing an answer in here, we're going to simplify that a little bit. Really not that much. We're just going to say 1 minus cosine of, what is this now, 12 phi over 1 plus cosine of 12 phi. Right? Okay, so I think those are pretty straightforward examples. Uh, the last one in this problem is maybe not quite so straightforward, but I think we can work through it. It's sine to the fourth. So how do we do a power reduction on sine to the fourth? We only have power reduction identities using sine squared and, and so on. So what I want you to do is think about what sine to the fourth is. Uh, sine to the fourth of, sure, we'll put this angle in here. Sine to the fourth of 3 phi is equal to sine squared of 3 phi, and that whole thing squared. So first, I reduce the power of sine squared 3 phi, and according to this formula, that's going to be equal to this, 1 minus cosine of 2 times the angle is going to be 6 phi, all divided by 2, and it's that thing squared. So yeah, it's going to get a little messy. We're going to have to do foiling. There's going to be fractions involved and so on and so on, but I'll give you an idea uh, what a good way to do this might be. I'm going to say 1 half minus, and I'm going to write it in this way. Not that it's particularly uh, different mathematically, but it is easier for me to think of how to square something if I have it written this way. Maybe, maybe you're different, maybe you don't like it uh, as two separate fractions, but I would then write this as, oh, that's 1 half times 1 half, that's 1 quarter. And then 2 times this part right here, remember how the perfect squares work out? That's going to give you cosine of 6 phi. And then at the very end, we have plus 1 quarter. Can I fit this in here? Cosine squared of 6 phi. Okay, so that's my reduced identity. But I'm not all the way done yet. Don't, don't think you're done yet because we still have this squared term right there. So there's one more step of reduction needed. You're going to need to reduce cosine squared of 6 phi which is going to give you something like, oh, I don't know, one quarter minus, uh, where are we here? One quarter minus cosine six phi, this is just the earlier stuff, plus one quarter, and now I reduce cosine squared of six phi, which is going to be one plus cosine.
cosine of 12 phi, all divided by 2. And I think that is the fully reduced form. We can neaten this up a little bit with some simpl simplification, right? 1 fourth times 1 half. We can probably do some work there. And I'll bet we could um, maybe combine some like terms. You're going to find some of those. But when you finish simplifying that, that's going to be your answer for this one. It's a little bit of a pain in the neck. Just be glad it's not sine to the eighth or something, right?